Hi, this is Mike with Vinyl Couture. Today we're going to show you how to use our pattern heat transfer vinyl that we've been making for some time. We still have people that aren't quite familiar with it, so today we're going to show you some tips on exactly how to get it to work. We're going to go all the way through the process. So this is our technology that we showed you in one of our previous videos. If you want to just review that, it'll let you see exactly where to hang your piece on your board and you can reuse the uh, this board over and over again so we're just going to tape it down like this helps you visualize and and see exactly where it's going to be placed so we're going to go over to our vinyl cutter now and we're going to use our three-point registration system that was described in our other video so just have to let it set up and as long as you've got these three corners the same now we're definitely not cutting this in in a reverse configuration you want to always keep your color up and your right reading. In other words, if you can read your words, that's correct. You want to make sure you're not flipped or mirrored when working with this pattern material. It's very important. We're going to send it to the cutter and it's going to cut. So now we're cutting on our cutter and you can see that it's cutting out on the exact piece that we placed. No need to waste it. No need to use any more than you need. Okay. Coming out of the cutter with it. Okay, so we're going to take this off our board now. We're going to weed it. Now notice this stuff has a backing on it. It doesn't look like it has a backing, but it does have a backing. It's much like your sticky vinyl to start out with, and it ends up just like your regular backward cut heat transfer vinyl, but it's not backward cut. You have to peel this stuff off, and now we can start to see our backing as it's coming into view. You see the design that it's cut out. So you can see how it cut it. We weeded it out now. We're going to put the mask on it. Now you can see that there's no way you can put this on upside down. We always get people that try to cut it upside down and they end up ruining it. Cannot cut this stuff upside down. The color has to remain on your shirt at the front. So here's how we're going to apply it. Obviously, you've got to have something to pick it up off this backing. And that's where you use our special sticky masking material. This is what people get confused. On your regular backward cut heat transfer material, the mask comes already applied. This material, you have to apply the mask. So notice the U-shaped draping motion that I'm making with this. And you really don't even need to put it all over the whole thing. As long as you just get it on there enough to pick it up. You can reuse this stuff over and over again. And here's how I pull it off, ready to put it on. We're ready to put it on the t-shirt. Slowly pull the backing away from the transfer. If it pops back up, just roll it back with your finger. Make it stick down, keep pulling. Now this stuff's pretty sticky, so it takes a little bit of effort. It's gonna fight you. Now this part is your backing. You don't need it anymore. Okay, so we're going to apply it via our heat transfer press. I don't recommend the use of an iron because there's too much of this motion going on. I've seen people do it, but put this on about 300, 10 to 15 seconds. It's real forgiving. Let's give it a try. I'm using 300. We're going to give it about 10 seconds. Here's a trick that many people don't do anymore. We're going to get an old t-shirt. And this is what I was taught to do back in the day. Rub that thing down with a rag. I do this on all my materials. Let it warm, let it get cool for just a minute. Don't want to let it get ice cold with this stuff. Let it get warm to the touch. Maybe let it cool down about 10 seconds. And then peel in one smooth motion. Now you've got your heat transfer mask, you can reuse this by applying it back to your bubbly backing. Here's your cool looking Lily shirt, ready to go. Thanks for watching our video. This is Mike with Vinyl Couture.